and Merc Treads just trying to survive the burst that Akali's, that uh, LeBlanc is putting down. And she's finished to death by a grasp. As if she didn't have enough burst already. Sorry to anyone who misunderstood, you max E after Q on Akali? Yes. That's not That's... max E first. Yeah, correct. Because e, your Q is your main damage source. You need to be able to, you know, and it's also your only ranged ability, if you can call it that. Gives you a little bit of harass from far. You jump in with that shadow kick and then allows you to deal all that extra burst. And it looks like Akali's going for Will of the Ancients first. Um, yeah, I guess. I mean, Hextech Gunblade did get nerfed, but I don't think it, I think it's still great mm -hmm. on Akali. The burst on Unless this Alexis. could be a Rhylite. Oh, that is also possible. From what I remember, uh, Rhylite is a very common item on Akali. Uh, LeBlanc, the burst that she's getting out is huge at the moment. Just with the uh, Q, the first proc of her E and the Deathfire Grasp, chunked Alexis down to nearly, well, less than a third life. And of course her cooldown... The creeping around. Yeah, the ultimate is on a 24 second cooldown with blue buff up. That's with 39% CDR. So every 24 seconds she's going to be able to put that huge burst down. The Mimic Silence and Sigil of Silence is just a massive, massive amount. So one six in kills at the moment. Moscow five, 3,000 gold behind, which is a lot at this stage of the game. And it's mostly concentrated on LeBlanc. 5,000 gold to 3,300 of Rise. Ergot, 4,300 to the 5,100 of Graves. We do have a fight going on at the moment. Slep has been a little bit caught out. Position Reverser pulls him backwards. Slep is going to be able to knock him up with the Howling Gale shortly. He does in fact land as well as the Exhaust. Finally, Genja gets exhausted in the background. Now, Diamond Prox is going to be moving forward if he needs to. There's the safeguard. Jumps forward. If he can get in range of the Tempest... If Diamond was a man, he would have taken that kill. Maybe going to be able to do so. There he goes. Lance. E Lance. Dragon's Rage. Followed up by the Hadouken. Now the Monsoon comes up from Janna. She's tanking the turret. Wow. While all that's going on, we've got a fight in the top lane. So I'm going to switch over to this one. Young Buck has now used Ghost. Soraka has gone down under the turret. Dredge line pulls Darien backwards. So two kills for Moscow 5. If you had chat activated, you'd know this is a kind of a no-pressure game. They're uh, kind of taunting and talking each other in old chat, like Slep, uh, sorry, Cynic just said. No backup from teammates, curse words, noobs. Well, it's just, I... uh, looks like they're all having just a good fun. I'll tell you what, this I've just one, activated right? chat. This is best of one, this is purely for ranking. Both of the teams have qualified, look oh at that. God. Q, R, depth charge, it just doesn't mess with, uh, doesn't land with the um, uh, uh, dredge light, but... More than enough damage. That was really damage. good of Maluna to flash in there. I mean, the kill was not secured until he did that damage. Wow. It's a great, great play so far. But the combination coming out from Extinct is massive, massive, massive. And because this is a best of one, because this is just a game for fun, I have actually just activated chat, so hopefully they don't say too many rude words. This is meant to be a PG-13 stream or whatever the game is. And Diamond Prox starting Dragon. Uh, this is the first Dragon of the game, unless I've missed something. I did one before. Who picked up the first the, uh, dragon? The second dragon's going to M5. This All is right. the second one. They get. So first dragon did go the way of Absolute Legends. No, the sec the first one did go to M5. Oh wow, okay. So even with two dragons, there's still three thousand gold behind. So that's yeah. that's a pretty big numbers. And Akali well, behind five kills. Akali currently did finish the Will of the Ancients, so it didn't go for um uh the Rylai Scepter like we thought. I actually I'm not sure. I mean, I, I'd expect Gunblade to be so much better, considering the passive is going to make you stick to someone. And uh, actually, Young Buck not building a revolver. Did I miss something where Vlads aren't supposed to build revolvers anymore? Hey, new meta. New meta. Who, who are we to, to question them? <laughs> I mean, in the games that we saw Vlad, uh, they haven't built revolvers. Nope, not at all. Astralis didn't build it. We Young are Buck. seeing... Neither did Kennen. We are seeing a significant more number of uh, Abyssal Scepters, though. Depth Charge because did get casted onto Genja. It's such a good item. Now they're going to be moved forward. Extinct uses that distortion to try and close the gap. But of course, that is a big... Well, not a big part of the damage, but wow, the burst from the Buckshot collateral damage drops. Goes through Pepper to half. And a long-range dredge line. That catches Genja. Followed up by the Hemo Plague. The Q, R, E lands into Lee Sin. Distortion should wow. be available very, very shortly. And that's kind of what I was talking about. If the, if that combo doesn't hit that one person, it, it kind of the spread damage of LeBlanc isn't so good as it is concentrated. Yeah, she is a single target burst, so she needs to be able to pick one person up, land everything onto that person, and then blow them up. But at the moment, 
That's right, LeBlanc's damage is over 9,000. Now once again, jumping forward, Distortion back to safety. But Absolute Legends, they're on a rampage at the moment. They just want to carry on pushing. Then goes the Q, the secondary proc might be enough to kill Genja. Ignite goes down, Wish was used to save his life as well. And a 19 minutes I kind of face bombed when you made the over 9,000. Oh, I had to, I had to. Chat, chat was saying it, so I decided to back them up. But at the moment... Chat is always right. Yeah, chat is always right. A flash goes forward from LeBlanc, but she distortions all the way backwards. What? Did that second distortion... Sorry, Sigil of Silence not proc? It didn't look like it. Um, unless, uh, unless Alex Banshee's got veil. Banshee's up at the last Banshee's possible veil. second. I he actually see died. in the animation, there goes another great dredge line from Maluno. He's landing the real clutch dredge lines at the moment. And a 19 minute inhibitor, I believe is the quickest inhibitor we've seen all day long. LeBlanc with a great combo of that distortion over the wall, puts some damage down and goes back to safety. Young Buck is now using his Sanguine Pool, does actually get knocked up from Janna. And a very, very nice Dragon's Rage from Hadouken combo from Diamond Prox picks up Slepper. the kill. Slepper's gonna be the next one to fall. And Slepper just pulled a Slepper. So much damage going down. You know, if, if we're gonna go with the uh, philosophy that Chad is always right, then uh, M5 aren't losing this game and AL aren't winning. TSM is obviously winning this game. Yes, yeah, sorry, that's right. I forgot about that. And uh, odd one on Trundle. That's, you know, he's top scoring. Uh, just odd one is ridiculously strong this game. And Reginald being aggressive. And let's not forget Dyrus doing absolutely nothing and farming top lane with 8,000 CS. <laughs> it's not quite over 9,000, but it's getting there, guys. We are getting there. So I'm going to ask Mr. Admin, Somi and Scarfed, either of you guys... Can you give me an update on any of the other games? Do we know if, uh, if they're still running? How are they looking or anything like that? If anybody that doesn't know, this is of course the DreamHack Qualifiers brought to you by MSI and SteelSeries. And Somi and Scoff, they've been the admins. They've put the event together and they've really been doing a good job. It's just the two of them. And they've been running with um, uh, all of the tournaments, the tournament pages, all of the teams, Tuesday, Thursday, and now again today. So I just want to give some props to the guys. You know, They're in the background. You don't really see them or hear them, but they need some love. And thank you for joining me, Broken Shot. I should be thanking you for having me. What are you talking about? <laughs> Look at the damage. Death by a grass. Now Genja does get caught up, but the uh, <laughs> distortion was still available, so he's able to jump all the way backwards to his original distortion point. Genja gets knocked up. The distortion available off cooldown once again. Double kill for Slepper. Locked up under the tower, that rune prison from Rise. Put some damage down. Darian's now committed to a fight that's going to cost him his life. Graves stealing Darian another kill. That's a triple kill. The stun does land onto Alexis in combination with the on hit. Finally, a kill goes the way of LeBlanc. Now she's committed forward. These chains are going to proc, but there's no mana. Got to wait for the cooldowns. A dredge line pulls Ghost Who Pepper backwards. And a five man absolute legend. Sorry, that was a three man absolute legend. Uh, plus one ghost. Where's the TSM? Puts the damage down. You know what? You know what? I would like to see this happen in a more important match. Yes, I know this doesn't really mean anything, so to speak. You know, it is it is a seeding match. So both of these teams are going to feature on the top and the bottom bracket of um, uh, the the DreamHack tournament. But wow, what a great play from Extinct! I love watching LeBlanc. I love watching the combo of the. Abilities. I love watching Extinct play. I mean, he's very entertaining to watch. He plays like these really aggressive assassin type APs. Lulu, LeBlanc, Ari, and they are always entertaining to watch his ridiculous engages. Like, I'm sure to him they're perfectly reasonable. Like, I'm just gonna go in ahead of my team and kill everything. But he really's got the manly plays and he's doing perfectly, perfectly no good at it. I just heard that apparently the uh, Teamless versus Fnatic game, it's 5-8 in kills in favor of uh, Teamless. So mm -hmm. we'll be jumping I'm not really over to that match next week. Because, uh, in my opinion, Fnatic, they're not that good anymore. They haven't really shown very good results. Pressure on the top lane. Darian's going to be pushing some, putting some damage down to Slepper, and I think he realizes the rest of Absolute Legends are close by. So Darian is on the run. Darian is backing off the vision. He's going to be given from these creeps. Places a ward in this top bush. And is he going to suicide to the tower or try to go 1v5? There's an update. It's 6-11 now towards Teamless. Seems like there was just one big team fight. So pressure now. Red buff on Slepper means Genji's going to have a hard time trying to get away. He does actually flash. Ghost was popped by Young Buck. A little bit preemptively, I feel. Anyway, back to the really, really long time ago, you said something with Haunting Guys. People don't realize just how strong it is. 
for the upgrade of Haunting Guys from your, uh, sorry, wow, Abyssal Scepter. Where did I pull up Haunting Guys? Because that's currently what's on Extinct. Yeah, when you uh, upgrade your Negatron Cloak and Blasting Wand into Abyssal, you're gaining 30 AP, uh, about 8 Magic Resist. One sec, it's, uh... Wow, I can't believe I can't do math. 9 Magic Resist. And 20 Magic Pen, all for 1,000 gold. It's not magic pen, sorry, it's magic reduction. Magic reduction, and that's AoE magic reduction. Every champion exactly. in the aura, so it stacks. And I had an old friend who played AP mids who was talking to me, and he says that getting the Abyssal is almost like getting a death cap. It's just so good early. And the chop, and a long rage dredge line once again locks up Ghost Super, but the Dragon's Rage in conjunction with the uh, Monsoon pushes him all the way back. Lee Sin is the first one to be blown up. Now they've turned their attention to Darien. Darien's just going to get melted in the background. Alexesh goes down as well. And Absolute Legends. I think they're just going to close this game out now. 8,000 gold. They had some fun with it. And I think it's pretty apparent that they just played super aggressively the entire time. Position Reverser followed up by a very oh, good flash from amazing. Extinct. <laughs> Manages to get himself out of the... Uh, the laser pew pew death star beam. He's just been avoiding those uh, those deaths from the splits. He's been really swapped, well uh, played. Twice this game and just managed to get out of there. What a fun game! So that's it, guys. In terms of seed, absolute legends place first in your dream hack qualifiers. They will be going into the dream hack land as your highest seeded team.